Imagine your brain was one one hundred thousandth its size. What do you think you'd be capable of? One million neurons, that's one one hundred thousand of yours, is the number of neurons in the bee brain. With this tiny brain, bees are capable of learning the location of their hive, collecting nectar and pollen, and navigating home. In fact, they're capable of over 50 distinct behaviors. So what's the relationship between the brain and behavior? This is a question still largely unanswered, despite vast amounts of human research. Bumblebees are an ideal subject for studying this because their brain is so simple compared to humans. Completely unlike the human brain, the bee brain has very few structures, all of which are easily identified. Additionally, most of the structures visible in this image are completely devoted to sensory processing. So when looking for areas of the brain that control behavior, there's really only one place to look, the mushroom bodies. The mushroom bodies are the structure outlined in this image, and if you squint your eyes a little, you can see that they're named for their mushroom-like shape. Rather than searching through 100 billion neurons for relevant brain regions, the bee brain hands them right to me. Knowing the relevant area in the brain is only one aspect of the brain behavior relationship. I'm interested in determining how the mushroom bodies are related to behavior. I do this by testing bees on two tasks. The first is a simple learning task. I present the bees with two colors and I pair one with a sugar reward, which the bee retrieves when it lands on the color. In the second task, I change something in the environment and ask the bee to respond. To do this, I present the same two colors, but pair the opposite color with the reward. The bee must recognize this change and switch their behavior to receive the sugar. With these two tasks, I can measure both a bee's ability to learn and their ability to use that learning flexibly. Next, I compare the bee's performance with the properties of their mushroom bodies, such as the volume of the structure. This allows me to find the key differences in the brain's between the brains of bees who do extremely well and those who struggle. In other words, I can find the qualities of the bee brain that are related to learning and behavior. These seemingly insignificant little insects can make an enormous contribution to the age-old problem of how the brain controls behavior, and in doing so, add to the many reasons why bee researchers have dubbed these one million neurons the amazing mini-brain. Thank you. <laughs>